The NASA AD-1, or Ames Dryden-1, was an experimental aircraft designed to test the feasibility of an oblique wing, an asymmetric pivoting wing capable of sweeping up to 60 degrees. Developed in the late 1970s, the AD-1 was a product of decades of theoretical and wind tunnel research, primarily driven by NASA engineer Robert Thomas Jones. The concept, however, dates back to 1944, when German engineer Richard Vogt proposed the Blohm & Voss P202, a never-built design with a similar pivoting wing intended to reduce drag at high speeds. NASA aimed to create a low-cost, low-speed aircraft to evaluate the aerodynamic characteristics and flight stability of the oblique wing in real conditions. The 81 was constructed by Ames Industrial Company in New York for $240,000. The Rutan Aircraft Factory was responsible for the detailed engineering, and Boeing provided configuration insights. The aircraft was built with fiberglass-reinforced plastic over a rigid foam core to reduce weight and manufacturing complexity. The AD-1 was powered by two microturbo TRS-18046 turbojet engines, each producing around 220 pounds of thrust. It had a top speed of about 170 miles per hour, 270 kilometers per hour, a length of 38.8 feet and a wingspan of 32.3 feet when unswept. The wing pivoted electrically at a rate of three degrees per second with only the right wingtip moving forward. The first flight occurred on December 21, 1979 with NASA test pilot Thomas McMurtry at the controls. Over the next 18 months, the wing sweep was gradually increased until the full 60 degree angle was achieved in 1981. The aircraft flew a total of 79 missions before its final flight on August 7, 1982, which took place at the EAA Air Venture Air Show in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Flight testing revealed both promise and limitations. At low sweep angles, the aircraft was stable and controllable. However, above 45 degrees, it suffered from pitch roll coupling and structural flexing due to its lightweight materials. This led to poor handling characteristics at high sweep angles, confirming that while the concept was aerodynamically sound, structural improvements were essential for practical application. Despite its limitations, the AD-1 validated many theoretical predictions. The oblique wing reduced wave drag and showed potential for long-range, fuel-efficient transport aircraft. However, due to its unconventional appearance, asymmetrical flight dynamics, and the lack of industrial interest, further development was halted. After its retirement, the 81 was placed on permanent display at the Hiller Aviation Museum in San Carlos, California. The NASA AD-1 remains a significant example of experimental aerospace engineering. It demonstrated the value of unorthodox thinking in aeronautics and contributed vital data for future concepts, even if its specific configuration never reached commercial or military application.